All right, we're going to be playing Z Light Solo Zombie Survival Game. All right, we start out with 20 health. We get a knife for a weapon. That adds plus one to our dice. So we get a plus one. So when we roll our dice, we get one for just being us and then one for our, our weapon. Our survivor's name is Slick Grimes. We have to survive four weeks. Each card is one day. We get three food. And also we can, <clears throat> this is our health. So we get down to one and after that we're dead. The E number up to five in that is what we have to use if we want to flee. We have to hit that number or lower. We also can find a dog that can be our companion, Lulu. She has a two attack dice and hits on a four plus. All right, so through the deck here, hearts. These are people. So you encounter people. They could be bad people, good people. And your spades, which are zombies and other creatures that you encounter. Then there's locations. all places where you go that's diamonds that you end up going find things or encountering people then there's clubs which is equipment to help fight the people and zombies that come along so 52 deck card all you do is turn it over. That's day one. So it's a two of spades. Already we're going to have a encounter. With, and let's see what two is. Two is zombies. Two zombies and you thought the apocalypse would be hard. So there's two zombies. One wound, it takes one hit to, hit to hurt them. Their defense, I got to hit over four, so I have to hit five and a six to beat them. They get one dice to attack us each, and they have to hit a five or a six to get hurt us. So we're taking on the two zombies. So we'll put that on our pad, two zombies. All right, so we roll initiative of who goes first, red me, black them. So the zombies go first. So they got two dice, two, two zombies, so they roll two, so they need five or six to hurt us. So they, I take one hit. So as you can see on my chart here, there's one. It's my turn to roll. I got my knife, which gives me plus one in me, so I get two dice, get to roll. I need five or six, so I kill one of them. So we're down to one zombie. Let's roll to see who goes again first. There you go. 
they're black. So there's only one, so they they go. They got a three. That doesn't hurt us. So we go, we get two. And then we take that one out. Six beats it out of five. They had a five, so take the zombies and special, nothing except get to live. That's cool, right? So we get nothing out of that encounter. Actually, we could have fleed also. All spades are zombies in that, so they get shuffled back in the deck. Now we get to heal ourselves if we got some med kits, which we don't have. So we can't heal ourselves. Then there's eat. We got food rations for the day. So that takes us down to two. Two food rations. And we got to advance the day counter, so then we'll go to day two. We need to make it to week four, to the end of week four to be rescued. Every day is one card. And every day you got to be able to feed yourself. You can heal yourself. So let's move on to the second. Queen of Clubs. Well, that's equipment. We get to find equipment. So we'll go to the Queen. What did they get? I mean, it's a sword. Perfect zombie killing weapon. Shame it's not a katana, but you always, you know, can always pretend. Keyword superior. Abilities three attack dice. So, correct this over here. Sword. That's a plus three, so we get three more dice for that now. We only can use one weapon. And keyword superior. I think that doesn't come into effect playing by the regular rules. It's not an advanced rules if you want to play them. Okay. That's it for day two. So this goes into a discard pile. You always don't get reshuffled in. Uh, let's see, we got a hill, we can't hill, so we take another, well, we don't get a wound, health, because we got food, so as long as we can eat, we don't take wounds, so now we're down to one. And day two is over. Go to day three, let's see what we get. Ten of spades, another encounter with a creature. See what ten gets us. Ten gets us zombies. So ten feels like a horde. Time to fight hard or maybe run fast. There's ten of them. Special if you defeat them all, nothing except you get to live. That's cool, right? So I'm not gonna sit there and fight these. I'm going to flee. So I roll one dice to flee. That's my exhaustion level is the number right here in the upper right hand corner of where you're hurt at. So it's the next one down. So as long as I say a five or under, and I didn't, so I failed. So right here, failure means you didn't get away. Your opponent now attacks. So, they get to attack, the zombies get to attack all 10 of them. And they need 5. All I got is 7 dice, so we'll do the first 7. They need 5. They got 2 hits. Take 2 hits. 
So let's reel three more because there's ten. No hits on that one. So I take two hits of health. So I gotta try to flee again. Which is down to an E5 because I'm 17. So I get away. Success means I flee. Success means you escape and the current opponent card is ignored for the rest of this turn. Move to the next card if there's one or go to stage three, which is uh, reshuffling and health. And okay, so any spade you get, I always reshuffle in. They never go in the discard pile. So as time goes, it's going to get harder and harder because you're going to have more spades. Kill ourselves. No med kits yet. So we got a food ration, so we're down to none. So we ate. And then we got to go. It's our third day. All right. Time for a new turn. King of Diamonds. Diamonds are locations. It's locations. I'll put the overview there for you. Then I'll put the location sequence so you can read it. Okay. I'll go to King of Diamonds. That's the still works. I can pass by. That means I just discard it. Enter briefly. I draw two cards. And the little aster mark gain 1d3 ammunition of your choice for each club drawn. Or I can explore and draw three cards. Same aster mark reward. And then there's a special. Once I come out of there, I get to roll for it. For uh, a knife, ammunition, or a smoke grenade. So, all right, let's put that right there. So we draw three cards. And they go in order. You draw them. One, two, three. Any diamonds? You don't deal with because that's another location. We'll move that out of the way. We got to deal with this first. Just so many. Shame you can't nuke them from orbit. Instead, you need to run. Special. You must flee. However, due to the number of zombies, you must succeed at two flea attempts. They do not have to be consecutive. Each time you fail, you take 1d3, 1d6 wounds, and you are still in the horde. Okay, so I get to try to flee. So remember, what is, where is my, uh, so we're at an E5 still. Let's see if I can flee the first time. We did five. We're good. Let's try it another time. Six, we fell. So now we got to roll the D6. See how many wounds we take. Four wounds. <clears throat> One, two, three, four. Yikes. Now we go down to an E4. Now we got a little four lower to get away from this horror to flee. And we did it. So we got we passed that. So now we get to do the hearts, which are people. And this is what they do. More of an overview now. So let's go to eight. So eight. 
is a trapped family. Family of four are trapped inside a crash car. Prying them free will be a loud business. Special, you can ignore their frantic pleas and, or smash the windows to help them out. This counts as a loud action. Should zombies come and you flee during the fight, the family are eating. If they live, they thank you and head off their young girl hugging you before they leave. So if I decide to help them, it's going to cause a loud noise. And loud noise, I have to draw a couple more cards. So that one, no. That one, no. So we're all good. Nothing happened. So they live. The trap family lives. We help them out. That goes in this card pile. Alright. So we're all done. So now we get the benefits over here. Did we get any clubs? No, we did not. This is going to go back in with those. So that sucks. We didn't get any clubs to get any ammunition. So we get to roll one dice to see what we get. A six. Gain one smoke grenade. So we got us a smoke grenade. Okay, so a smoke grenade. It's only single use, it's up here here. You can only use one of these to flee without kneeling without needing to make an escape roll. If you use before initiative is rolled, you flee automatically and avoid the encounter. Okay. Alright. Okay, so we're in trouble now. We can't heal. We have no food, so we take a wound and we're on our fifth day. Need to find some food. Five of diamonds. So that's another location. Diamonds is a campsite. We're not going to pass by because we need to find stuff. So we're going to explore. Take three cards. If, if uh, we find a club, we get to gain two food rations and one med kit. Special, I get to gain one med kit. And I find enough food for the day to eat. I don't have to, have to reduce or use any food for the day. All right. So draw three cards. One, two, three. We got an encounter. Gambler Kenny. Cigarettes, whiskey, and cards. Special. You can lure him or gamble. Wager one to three med kits or one to three food rations from the main deck without looking at them. From the name deck without looking at them, draw five cards for Kenny. Next, draw three for yourself. Look at them, increase your gamble. If you feel like you draw two more cards, turn over the cards. The highest hand wins. So I have none of that. So we're not going to gamble with old Kenny. So he's gone. Now we got an encounter with the ace. The higher it goes, the harder the enemies to. So and that's a zombie soldiers. They died bravely, but now, now they are hungry and armored. There's an officer. First line there takes three hits, has five defense. That means I have to roll six. Their defense, I cannot roll the number that's shown. It has to be over that. But for my hits, that's how they have to hit. And he gets two attack dice. Then there's grunts times four. The special is they can only be hurt with superior weapons. If you don't have any, you must flee. If you kill them, you gain one of the final clubs. So I'm going to throw my smoke grenade. So that'll go back. So that means we used our smoke grenade. Go to a club. So that's some equipment. We need something or two. So 
found some food. Two tins of dog food. It's your choice, but they but you are hungry and you find food for two days. Add these to your food supplies if you want to. Yeah. So we found some food. So we got two. And we're done with that. Back to our campsite. We drew one of those, a club. So we get one med kit. And we gain two food rations. We got us a med kit. And I gained one med kit also for the special. And I don't lose any food off there for today. Okay. So we're done there. So we're done. So that goes there. Shuffle our cards again. So we can heal. We got two med kits. We're going to use those. So take two off there. We already ate because we got a free ration. And then we go to the fifth day. We're done with. 